Good afternoon, you two pie smokers. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Just went to the store for some food. Started my diet the uh, day after Christmas. I wasn't going to wait for New Year's. So four days into it. I started a keto diet. So far, so good. Got to stay on track. I figure if I can start before New Year's, I'll be that much ahead of the game. Otherwise, mentally, if you say after New Year's, you wind up eating more between now and New Year's, and it'll make things worse. So I said, you know what? I'm starting. That's it. So once again, I committed. Keto's pretty easy, uh, no carbs, low carbs, no carbs, and no sugar, as best you can. And you can eat a lot. You can eat meat, you can eat uh, eggs, and bacon even. And in my case, i got to watch the salt, because I retain water. But, um, anyway, that's the New Year's resolution, to lose some weight. Once again, it's a constant battle, but I will win it. You know, you got to get disgusted with yourself sometimes before you can do it. And I'm at that point. After a while, you just, like, hate food. And you hate yourself. You don't feel good. Everything hurts. It's terrible. And the problem with me is I like to cook. And if you like to cook, you like to eat. I, mean, I love barbecue and stuff, and, and I don't eat really bad. I'm not a junk food eater. I'm not a cookie eater or ice cream. I eat just too much. That's the problem. In some cases, I wish it was junk food, because you can cut that out and lose a lot of weight. But I bought stuff to make chicken salad, which I like. I'm going to take a small portion for lunch. We'll see where it goes. Uh, YouTube seems to be a little quiet on the pipe front. Not much activity. I guess a lot of people are busy with the holidays. Hopefully it picks up again after the new year. Also check out BRTV. A lot of good things happening over there. You know, you really have to give credit to Phil. He does a really good job. You know, he started with the Briar Report, which is a really, if you think about what's on that page, Briar Report, that all has to be inputted by hand. That's a lot of work. To list all the YouTube channels, and, and they're all links. They're not just a list. You click on it, it takes you to it, to the place. Tobacco, uh, pipe, um, places online to order stuff. I mean, it's that's a major undertaking. I give him a lot of credit. You know, I never really looked when I looked at the Briar Report. Never looked at it in the in the case of the work it takes to do that. And I do a lot of things with different transmission groups that I'm a part of. And I create content for them, and uh, it's a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. So my hat's off to Phil, and he's doing a really great job. He's really trying with the BRTV. And just to give you a little insight to where his heart is, uh, which I think is very important. You know, when he started the public uh, Briar Report TV I reached out and asked him if I could post a video and of course he said yes which anybody can make a video and just send him a link to it and uh, when he gets a chance he'll post it and but I asked him I said can I contribute uh, like donate money to the Briar Report TV and 
So to my surprise, he said no. He said he wants to do it with a sponsorship, and he wants it to support itself. Now that's really a shows you the commitment he has made. I mean, I'm not a rich person by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I, I could find fifty or hundred dollars to give to a good cause to try to help. That I have done in the past, like many have. And when he said no, that really was shows you where his heart is. He's not looking to um, what's the right word? Um, he wants to do the, the model the way he has it in his head, and that's sponsorship driven advertising, which is basically how YouTube works. Um, so I really give him credit for that. And so I try to give, uh, make some content, and he posts it when he can. And the TV guy is really a good read. He does it with nice software. I've used that software that he uh, uses to turn the pages. And it feels like a virtual magazine. Uh, and it also takes a lot of effort. Everything in that TV guide is uh, printed, typed out, uploaded. The graphics, he does a good, even down to the mailing label. It makes it look like a really, like a real TV guide you would get in the mail. That's really awesome. I mean, that's really, uh, again, I, I commend him, and I, I really appreciate the hard work he puts into stuff like that. And if you're in the hobby of pipe smoking, check Briar Report TV. Leave comments to the videos there. They're all, almost all that I see are YouTubers that have channels also. And it's a uh, extension of YouTube, is the way I look at it. And if one day that YouTube becomes so bad that we cannot, we, we, we get restricted, there may be another platform that we can all use and share our channels, which is not a bad thing. And if that never happens, then there'll be two. And um, there's nothing wrong with that. And it's like, if you're like me, any hobby I'm involved in, I, I participate on multiple platforms. If I'm into woodworking, I buy woodworking magazines, I watch YouTube channels, I, I search other things on the web for woodworking content. I do the same thing with pipes. Smoking pipes, for example, has a lot of good reading. Uh, they come up with little stories once in a while. I don't know if uh, any of you noticed that. I get the email alerts and uh, I read as much as I can about pipe smoking because I'm interested in it. Like I'm interested in fishing or woodworking or anything. And that's how you gain knowledge. Again, uh, check it out. I think you'll you'll like it as much as I do. Participate with it if you're a presenter on uh, YouTube. Send a uh, speak to Phil. Send over some content and uh, be part of it. So when the day comes, if it takes off like it should, you helped get it there. And there's nothing wrong with that. On the next note, uh, New Year's coming. A few days, it's gonna be a new year. I really cannot stress this enough, and I still owe a lot of gratitude to Max Wolf, Phil. I haven't seen him on in a while. I hope he's fine and doing well. 
what, a year or two ago now. He said, uh, if you're thinking about doing YouTube videos, just do it. And when he said that, it clicked in my head, and I said, you know what, the hell with it, I'm going to do it. I said this before, I was always self-conscious about the way I look and sound, and I said, you know what, I am what I am. My papa used to say, I am what I am, and that's what I am. And I'm not going to restrict myself of that fear. And it's been really rewarding to me. And here's why. It's rewarding in so many ways. The minor ways, which I appreciate, is when you, other members leave comments. Thank you. Uh, I like your content. It makes you feel good, like you're contributing to something worthy. And we all want to feel that. That's number one. Number two, I had a person reach out months ago, eight months ago, maybe almost a year ago, that her husband and her, the wife watches me every day. He was going through some health issues. And uh, she emailed me, can I mention his name in my Daily Five? And I did. And she wrote a long letter to me saying how much it means to him that those little life quotes that I do uh, helps him get through the day. I mean, I was floored by that. Um, to think that I'm making some content that can, in some little way, help somebody. You can't ask for more than that. And then to think also that I'm somebody in some small part of the world that I may never meet in my life can watch me and does watch me. And then it really hits home, like the few pipe shows I went to, that you go to a pipe show and people will come up to you and say, oh, you're that guy from YouTube, I watch you all the time, how you doing? I recognize you from your videos. I'm telling you guys and girls, it's like being a somewhat of a celebrity in a small way. I'm kidding, you're not gonna come, I'm not gonna compare myself to uh, a famous actor or something, but you know what, it's a little piece of what that might feel like. And that's so nice. I mean, I went to that Vegas pipe show and I met five or six people there, knew me, and I didn't know them. That's unbelievable. And it's such a nice feeling. So if you're thinking about presenting, stop thinking and do it. It's so easy. There's a little bit of a learning curve, and you'll get it. You can use your phone to upload. You can use your iPad. You can use a tablet. You can use your expensive camera, your cheap camera. There's so many ways. And if you don't want to be in the pictures to start off with, then do it where you just show your, your desk that you sit at and show your pipes or show whatever and come up with a, an idea of reviewing tobacco or talking about your pipes or talking about how long you smoke uh, why you smoke what do you do when you smoke are you, do you mostly smoke outside do you smoke inside do you smoke at work uh, there's so many ways you can go to create content and it really is rewarding. And come up with a schedule once a week, twice a month. Um, that uh, the new, one of the newer members, Boca de Boyton, does a great job. I'm envious of him because he's on the water. He sits on his porch and has that little canal with the boat. Uh, that setting is like unbelievable. And he does a nice job, he's interesting, and uh, how would we ever see that if he didn't 
decide to create content. And already he's up to over 100 subscribers. It really is magical. It's, it's life-changing. It really is life-changing. So stop thinking about it and just do it. And I promise you, I promise you, you'll, you'll really say, why didn't I do this? What was holding me back? Everybody has an interest. Everybody is interesting. Everybody has a story to tell. Tell your story. You don't have to get personal and, and, and give your life history. and It doesn't matter. Tell the parts you want to tell. Lunting Larry, another phenomenal presenter. Interesting content. I mean, I noticed this last few days or weeks, there's been nothing on TV. Nothing. I watch more YouTube videos than I've ever have. And you know what? I learned something. And I'd rather learn something than watch some stupid TV show, so-called reality TV, of some idiots that, um, you know all the stupid shows, 90 Day Fiance and all that nonsense. It's, it's wasting your time watching that crap, as far as I'm concerned. I've, I've started reading books because of many presenters share what books they read and, and, and I've learned so much and I owe so much to so many because of it. It really it opens up your mind, it opens up the world to you. You meet people from across continents, across oceans. I mean, imagine uh, if I was a traveler and I went to London, that I have somebody I can email and say, Simon, you want to meet for a drink and a pipe? I couldn't do that if I didn't have uh, know him and become friends with him through YouTube. Or if he came to New York and said, all right, I'm in New York, uh, you want to meet and go for a drink or something. Imagine that. A friendship that would never be if you didn't present. And the list is endless. It really is endless. So, really, I cannot stress it enough. Believe me, I promise you, you'll thank me if you did it. And you'll, chances are you enjoy it, and um, listen, we all have a mini TV studio in the palm of our hands. Use that to your advantage. And it opens up a lot of doors for you, and uh, very re rewarding. Anyway, I think it's enough of a rant, if you will. I'll be on again uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, through the new year. And I just wish everyone a happy, most importantly a healthy, to you and your families. Thank you for all the pleasant comments and friendships I developed. Because of YouTube, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you're safe, and I hope your dreams come true, and I hope your new year will be better than the last. Thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.